In rhombus, V, E, N, U, diagonals V, N, and E, U intersect at S. If V, N is equal to 12 and E, U is equal to 16, what is the perimeter of the rhombus? So let's draw out our rhombus. Anytime that you're drawing a geometric figure and to give you the lettering of the vertices, always draw it in either a clockwise or counterclockwise orientation. It really doesn't matter which one you pick, just as long as you pick one, and that you are consistent in drawing things in that orientation. The outcome will be the same. So we have VENU. We're going to connect the diagonals there because it says VN and EU intersect at S. One of the properties of a rhombus uh, regarding their diagonals, the diagonals are perpendicular bisectors of one another. So they're telling us that VN is equal to 12, so therefore VS must equal to 6, SN must equal to 6. They're also telling us that EU is equal to 16, so therefore VES must equal to 8, and SU must equal to 8. We're asked to find out what the perimeter of the rhombus is. So looking at this, we're actually dealing with a right triangle or four congruent right triangles. So I have dimensions of eight and six, and I need to find out what the hypotenuse is. So then I can multiply by four and I can get the perimeter that way. This is also a, uh, a very special right triangle, this is a 3, 4, 5 triangle, but if you didn't recognize that, we can also solve for the hypotenuse using Pythagorean theorem. So I can say 6 squared plus 8 squared is equal to x squared. Add 6 squared and uh, 8 squared together, I get 36 plus 64, which is equal to 100. So x squared or x is equal to 10, because if I take the square root of both sides. So since x is equal to 10, the perimeter then will equal to 4 times 10, or it's 40. Why am I multiplying by 4? Again, because a rhombus has all four sides congruent. So the option here that satisfies the answer is option 2.